Good morning vlog, B Rad here. It is currently four o'clock UK time. Just about to get ready to set off to London Heathrow now. Be setting off at five. Let's get ready before I get left behind. See you in a bit. Right, so we're officially at the airport, and yeah, I got through customs and had my mashed potatoes taken off me. So I had 450 grams of those, four times essentially. Also, you can see it is hectic right now. It's a little But uh, yeah, just looking around, seeing if I can get anything else to uh, compensate me for the loss of carbs essentially. So it's 150 grams worth of carbs I need to kind of look towards implementing. So. Yeah, but I'm gonna get a coffee right now, so I'm trying to find the best place to cost a coffee around or a Nero. Mm. Found one. Getting a coffee, black coffee, keeps us awake, and uh, then we'll look towards implementing more carbs for the deficit of the mashed potatoes. Literally, like, looks at it and goes, What is this? And I'm like, Yeah, it does look a bit suspicious because it was mashed. If it was a whole potato, I'd have been fine. But because it was mashed, it wasn't. But a friend of mine actually got through custom absolutely fine with the mashed potatoes and was on the same sort of plan as me. So, yeah, a bit nuts, but hey ho. Um, but yeah, just waiting for the flight now and uh, now they're stateside. So pleasant for it. I've been called up, but I need to make a last minute pee, so. Uh rushing a little bit now, but uh, excited. Also I managed to find some more carbs in the end, so all is well with that. Um, bit of a good surprise actually, so I will show you that on the flight. But like I say, still rushing, had a pee. Now it's good to my air, and it's good to my flight. Sometimes I have to 
kit and curveball a little bit and to do what you can with what you've got essentially so um, yeah I'm doing what I can with what I've got and uh, not stressed about it too much because it is what it is and uh, that's that essentially I think everyone else is going to have their problems up front um, this is my little hiccup I say the hiccup I'm really not that to be fair but um, yeah I'm um, going to eat that now and uh, probably watch Batman because I haven't watched Batman yet so um Official toilet break number 2000. <laughs> so um, we're still water loading at the moment, so I'm having to piss a lot out at the moment as well. And due to the fact that I'll need to get all the water in UK time, and then have an additional amount US time. So I've got 67 litres to drink now, and I'm doing the air hostesses nutting with like, can I have some water? Can I have some water? Can I have some water? I mean, thankfully, I'm on a Nile, so that was the idea in terms of and not annoy anybody. Uh, I managed to buy after customs I got um, a little bottle of water and then uh, I asked the hostess for like 1.5 uh, litres of water as well so they're not having to come back and forth and be that prick that just keeps and press the button and go please. Um, but yeah, getting through that now, I'm having my fourth meal. So I had one, two, three, four, sorry, fifth meal. Um, this is the one I've had to kind of like improvise with. So this is the uh, popcorn basically. Um, so I will show you that one. Water, 
uh, before I hit uh, stateside, and then stateside I'm going to be uh, drinking an additional two to three litres, one there, or one to two litres, I'm not too sure exactly how long this is in the plan, but um, we're nearly there now, and uh, yeah, it's going to be fun guys, it's going to be absolutely epic, I'm so, so, so excited to actually just see Dave, I'm going to start calling him Papa Dave, I don't know why, but um, he's going to be my uh, bro, which I'm sharing a room with, I'm super excited to introduce to him, and uh, yeah, just go absolutely nuts in LA after um, the show is done. Uh, I'll be speaking with my coach and everything, what we're going to be doing afterwards, we're going to go, I don't know what we're doing, today. we're going to go for some cigar, victory cigars, and get some whiskey as well, and uh, just have some fun, and uh, I'll probably get sloshed, so yeah, but um, about just over three hours left, and uh, we'll be checking into uh, the hotel uh, once we pass immigration and get my suitcase and everything and get the rest of my food, and then I'll uh, take you along with me to Walmart. Walmart, that's my American accent. Walmart, that's my name. That's not. Anyway, right, see you then. They pay him a lot of money for his age. He's a good player, but he get a uh, stuff. Yeah, that was just getting good. sacked. Yeah. Yeah. For him to win the Champions League. Oh yeah. No, oh, but the so I have officially landed, and now we're going to go and see Papa Dave in one, three, two, one, two, three. I don't know which one it is again. Okay, so it's officially one, two, three. The room number. So uh, yeah, we're gonna. See Dave and oh, it's gonna be awesome. The flight was awesome, by the way. It's all the Hollywood sign and everything. One, two, three. One, two, six. One, two, four. Housekeeping. Cover that one. Cover this one. One, two, two. I missed one, two, three. So that's a new one. I am um, arrived at the wrong hotel. <laughs> <laughs> um, apparently, it's not that one, it's that one, over there. So, um, yeah, getting to the right one. I literally got to the hotel, looked through it, the gate was like, one, two, six, one, two, five, one, two, four. Whereas one, it was literally missing one, two, three. I'm glad I didn't knock on a door that wasn't actually housing Dave in it, because I would have been like, oh, this is awkward. <laughs> um, so yes, uh, now I've got to go to that one. So, that is the correct hotel. Next time, Brad, don't follow the crowd. <laughs> this will teach you for getting into cars with strange people. Right. One, two, three. Got a card. They should be in there. Got the right hotel. Uh, should I knock or not? I don't know. I think it's a polite thing to knock. Here he is! <laughs> How you doing, bro? Yeah, good, mate. You? Oh. Good yeah, to nice to see you too, mate. Right, right, so I officially made it. Saw Dave, probably didn't see much of him at all. Hope for him, first of all, because it's uh, LA traffic, which is nuts. But um, yeah, saw Dave. Um, you'll see more of him later, but uh, I just wanted to see him and just give him a massive hug, because it's uh, just epic just being here in the first
first place. Um, right now, I'm walking to Walmart and uh, gonna get the essentials. It's pretty late, so I'm kind of like rushing around, so I might miss a few things, but um, tomorrow is more of a sedate day, so I can vlog a bit more, can introduce you to Dave a bit more, can introduce you to the new shorts, which I've got as well. Um, I don't know how I'm feeling about those, but I'll introduce you to the shorts nevertheless. And uh, what he's gonna be wearing, what I'm gonna be wearing, what we're gonna be doing, pose routines, etc. And just take you through the day because I don't even know what's happening yet. But um, yeah, we'll see what we get for the shopping first of all, and uh, see if I can go in the right way for Walmart in the first place. This is just so weird, man. Ah, uh, so it's like it's so alien, but not. It's just it's so so reminiscent of LA and. GTA. It's like, I feel like I'm in GTA basically. This is awesome, but yeah. Also, it's a little bit sketchy as well. And, uh, people holding machetes and stuff like that. But, um, uh, I'm just going to check I'm going the right way. Yeah, still going the right way. I think I turn on left at the near moment. Um, I will catch you guys in the bizzle because I don't really want to keep my camera out too long because I'm nearing Compton, don't be stereotypical at all, but try and happen to you a bit more. But yeah, I'm going to go to Walmart now and I'll catch you in a bit and I'll show you exactly what I'm going to be shopping for for tomorrow and the day after and even show day as well. Um, but we've got time to kind of go back and forth if necessary. But uh, yeah, see you in a bit. Side note, I don't actually know how to cross the road without jaywalking here. I know I need to turn left, but I don't know how to do that. <laughs> Small problems which you face here, isn't it? I have a habit of technically just crossing the road where there's no crossing in England, but here you get arrested for it, so I'm really not sure how I'm doing it. So I think there's a couple of people in front of me who I hope will turn left. I mean, is, it, is it traffic lights, traffic buttons? I don't, I don't know. What is that smell, by the way? I've walked into something. Oh, there's a target there. I've walked into something here. Um, there's an unbelievable smell, which is absolutely nuts. Oh, what is it, Yvonne's? Some more food that I can have. Is there any prep food? Any prep food for Brie Brad? So yeah, there was no food there. It just smells incredibly nice. There's no food for me, should I say. Just smells incredibly nice. Um, I think. Oh God, that's what it is. This is ruthless, this is guys. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have a bit of a job on crossing the road here, so I'm gonna have to concentrate and uh, get back to you guys. All right? Okay, managed to safely walk across the road without getting run over or arrested, which is awesome. Now we're on to Walmart. Ambulance come by. Jesus, man, it is nuts here. It is all go. Ah, I'm a bit scared. This is just not... I don't know, is this normal? It's absolutely crazy. Exciting though. Oh, there's an antler in the car. That's cool. Antlers and cars. It's Christmas soon, isn't it? Loving the cars and everything. The smells are astronomical, by the way. It's just real deadly. I mean, I have just had some rice cakes and honey. Um, so... I'm pretty sure I'm okay for the time being. I don't know, it's just a bit overwhelming at the moment. Adrenaline's spiking high, so I'm awake very much so right now. I mean, it's like, what, UK time? Should be like four o'clock or something stupid, so... Four o'clock in the morning, this is. I mean, I've been up since four, so I've been up over 24 hours now. But this is, uh, I hope I'm in the right direction, that's all I can say. 17 minutes or so, that's what so they were supposed to go by. Yeah, looks like I'm going in the right direction still. So, I was saying to Dave, my direction skills are impeccable. First of all, going to the wrong hotel, and uh, then finally getting into his room, and then uh, going out from the room, then going to a different room completely. And I was like, I'm not really inspiring good confidence in terms of uh, direction. So he actually escorted me to, this is where you're going for Walmart. <laughs> I'll just get lost anywhere. I hope that, I just follow people and just hope for the best. Uh, I, need to, I think I need to concentrate now and uh, I actually find my way to Walmart. So um, yeah, I will actually put the camera down now for a second and uh, get myself to Walmart and inform you of any other weird stuff that might happen along the way. But yeah, it's uh, spicy out here guys, spicy. That's all I can say.
So we met up another road. Can I cross this road or not? Shit, I'm gonna risk it. Is this class of jaywalking? I really don't know. I don't know. Um, I don't know the rules of it, you guys. I don't know the rules. <laughs> there it is. There was Walmart. Finally made it here and safe and sound. Didn't get mugged, didn't get stabbed, didn't get arrested. Which is good. So on my way to get some food, I found everything else that I don't need. Absolutely everything here. The cakes are huge. All I need is potatoes across this side. That's my oil. That's the wrong side. So yeah, I need to stick to my prep food. Mm, tough. Got some nuts already though. Found the almonds. I found found Walmart first of all, but I found some almonds as well. Uh, I need some chicken, need some potato. Is that? That's that's potato, isn't it? Yeah. That is fully singing to me right now. So I've got my potato, I've got some grapes as well, that's competition day, and then I've got some almonds as well, so that's competition day in conjunction with uh, loading days tomorrow and day. So all I need to get now is chicken and try and stay away from all of that. Just bread looks nice for me right now. There's just literally bread right in front of me. Ah, uh, man. I've actually just wanted to try pumpkin pie and I've never actually tried one. Look at that. Look at that like a beauty. So yeah, literally the last thing to get is some chicken. I'm trying to hunt for that one right now. There's just so much selection, so much food here. I mean, there's a whole turkey right in front of me. Like, huge. Like, everything's big. Everything very, very big. It's difficult to find the right stuff. I was so near the end. And I found these. And these. So near the end. But I've got everything I need, so I think we need to get a bag. Success we made it without being averted to the cakes, candy, chips as they call it over here, and just all the absolute wrong stuff for anybody on prep. I feel like I'm right grown up though. Punk and Walmart, okay, that's all right. I just don't get the road situation. I'm probably gonna get arrested at one point doing this, but you know what, fuck it. I mean, Walmart has everything you need, really. So I've got my chicken, got potatoes, and some almonds as well. So I was probably gonna get a hob and boiled potatoes, but I mean, at the end of the day, I don't really think it matters too much in terms of boiled, between baked potatoes and boiled potatoes, as long as they're mashed, they're mashed sort of thing, skinned, they're skinned. I should've got a peeler, but hey ho. I can pick one of those up tomorrow morning, or I could use my fingernails, or just get a knife. I think the problem is, like, everyone assumes that you're supposed to have everything, like, scientifically correct and stuff. And well, yes, if you're at your own home and stuff, and you've got scales, and you've got all the things you know around you, then ideal. But when, like, the surroundings are a bit different, and conditions aren't perfect, then you've got to do the best of what you can do with what you've got, basically. What I'm here to do is make friendships, Buy the right food and feel like a right grown up, not get shot, not get arrested, and find my bloody well way back to the hotel, the correct one this time. So, uh, this needs focus, this needs my B Rad focus, full attention. But this place is awesome, guys. I mean, I'm pretty tired at the moment now. I mean, as I say, it's like probably like five o'clock or something in the morning. I've been awake for more than 24 hours. Oh, I didn't get any water, did I? I need to get some water. Wah. That's not a big deal, I think I can get some somewhere from the hotel for like six quid water, it was crazy, redonkulous. But um, yeah, on my way back to the hotel, need some focus, so I'm going to put the camera down and catch you all with Papa Dave. I do not get this traffic system one iota, it's absolutely nuts. Press the button, this is please wait, it's got a timer thingy. And it's like, is that a timer to me to get to across the road? Or is that a timer counting down to when I... Because the cars are still going, man. I don't know when to walk, when not to. I don't know if they're in the wrong or I'm in the wrong. It's like, these clear instructions. It's like, say, please wait, and they're random, ominous timer, like something's about to blow up. My mind, probably. But yeah, I still feel like a grown-up, though, with all this, uh, this malarkey. It's always cool. 
made it to LA on my own. Isn't that cool? Still learning the ropes with how to walk across the road. It's like a, you know, that hedgehog thing. That one, stop, look, and go. We you gotta stop and think, then you'll be king of the road. Had an actual commercial for actual road safety where England's concerned. These guys don't. I don't think they do. Then again, you really shouldn't sing across the road either, like the hedgehogs did, because they'll just get squished. But I just don't know how to work the roads. I mean, for starters, they're on the wrong side of the cars. First impressions of this place is absolutely awesome. It's just really busy. It's really just a lot going on. So imagine like England on its busiest day. This is just like a natural day for that. But it is exciting, it's exhilarating, and it's the fast lane. If you want to be in the fast lane, then come to LA. Which is awesome, man. It's epic. I mean, yeah. I'm in love with it, really. It's um, gonna be a fun time. I am a bit tired, though. Once the conversation's concluded, all those things that I was going by, like pumpkin pies, the croissants, the awesomeness, that's going straight in my basket, guys. Mark my words, going straight in my basket. But, uh, I mean, there is a lot of shops nearby as well. I mean, I wouldn't pass that one. Unless that was deadly. It was deadly, guys. It was just like, bypass the nostrils. and went into like the temptation part of the brain immediately, um, which I never thought possible. And it is tempting and really difficult. So these next two days, it's gonna be difficult, man. But as soon as it's done, it's gonna make it even worse because I just want it's you know that sort of impending aspect like when you want something, you just keep on wanting it and then eventually you just get it and it's just like right, pounce on it. I'm gonna be like a hungry lion man. Or a hungry wolf. That's the Duran Duran song, Hungry Like the Wolf. I'm gonna end the video here. Uh, it's been an absolute blast uh, taking you with me, traveling up so from starting from Heathrow to LAX to Walmart. <laughs> Huh. I mean, to the, eventually to the right hotel, and then to Walmart, should I say. Uh, it's been an absolute blast, it's been great, and these next few days are going to be even more epic. So if you like this video, please give it a like. If you uh, haven't already, please subscribe. And if you haven't as well, please press the notification button, because there's so many cool things coming out soon, guys, that I'm hoping you can all uh, witness and join with. Uh, it's going to be an absolute hoot uh, for the next few days. So, um, it's just getting started. It's getting started now. It's getting spicy, as I like to say. I hope you can share it with me, all right? I'm really tired, as you can see. I've just looked at myself in the panel there, and I look like a zombie. Death face, right there. But it's so near the end now, and uh, I say, I just hope you can, uh, hope you enjoy it. Hope you enjoy it, guys, and hope you enjoy me for it. Catch you all in the next one. Be right out. So there you guys. I mean, I would do the hand, but my hand's stuck with the potatoes, so I can't, so I'll just kind of like, do that. Be right out. Dude behind me, he's literally jaywalk. He didn't get arrested. I think he jaywalk. I don't know what's going on here, guys.